Hello, BookTube. Hello, friends. Welcome to Lizzie Faye Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth, and today I've got a book review for you. I was sent a copy of Boop and Eve's Road Trip by Mary Helen Sheriff, and I was asked by the author to please read it, if I would, and do a review. So that is what I'd like to do today. Now, I promise you that my review will be open and honest and frank, and I want to just share with you a little bit about my experiences reading this book. Now, before I get into the book itself, I want to just let you know that this book has already received quite a bit of recognition. It has already won an award, and it just came out October 6th. So let me just go down the list of some of the things that it has already been recognized on. It was the winner of the 2020 American Fiction Awards for Coming of Age Books, it is on Pop Sugar's 21 Most Exciting New Releases, hitting the bookshelves throughout October. And it was on Parade's Most Anticipated Books of Fall. Frolic's 10 Books Perfect for Your Book Club, and I would definitely agree with that. Um, Family Ties, Seven Stories of Sisterhood. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's uh, by Book Trib. 12 Most Anticipated Books of Fall from BuzzFeed, and Books That Are Great for Buddy Reads. That's from She Reads. Now, I believe that She Reads is the publisher, She Reads Press, and they focus mainly on books by women that are geared toward women, and this book would definitely fall into that category. Now, let me just clear up a couple of things really quick, because I think when you first look at this book, your first impression, it's a beautiful cover, and you look at the title and, you know, the, just the name Boop sounds really fun. I think your first impression is going to be that this book is light and fun. And I know that was my first impression. And then as I was about to get started reading it, I just skimmed a couple of reviews and saw that people were saying, you know, they thought this was going to be light and fun, but it had more substance than they thought it was going to and I would definitely say that that is the case. So if you're not into light and fun, you could still pick this up. And there is definitely a lot of things to chew on in this book. Now, let me just start by saying that the really good thing about this book is all of the drama involved with all the main characters. And let me also say that the thing I hated the most about this book is all the drama involved in all the characters. <laughs> Okay, you guys know that, I mean, some of you may not know, but I like, I would say my favorite kind of book are books where I love the characters. I don't like to see characters making stupid mistakes. I don't like to see them making poor choices. But on the other hand, that can make for a really great story and give you a lot of food for thought and things like that. Because if nothing else comes out of a book with characters making bad choices, it can maybe show you why you might not want to repeat those choices. You know, that's one bonus. That's one benefit. In fact, I would say that just chapter two alone, I might let my 16-year-old daughter read so that hopefully by reading that, she will never, ever, ever make the really horrible mistake that our main character made in Chapter 2. And if you saw my Friday Reads a couple of weeks ago, that was this was the book that I was reading. And I got so upset with the main character that I threw the book on the table and I didn't want to pick it back up for a couple of days. So that being said, this book has put me on an emotional roller coaster. Because there's so much involved in it. Now, am I, am I glad that I read it? Absolutely. I'm so glad that I finished reading it because there's a lot to unpack. And I won't say that I love this book because, you know, as I just said, I prefer books where the characters are behaving and are making really good choices, but then a lot of you would find that absolutely boring. So that's just where I'm coming from. But I, I took this book yesterday. We had book club and I mentioned it to some of our book club members after book club, and I am going to recommend it for our book club for next year. But meanwhile, I looked and our library didn't even have it. So 
I went to our librarian, our head librarian. I showed her the book and she's like, oh, I want to read this. And I said, can we order it? You know, I mean, I have this copy, but we need to have this for the library. And she said, absolutely, we're ordering this. So I'm going to also mention it to a couple of the other librarians in the surrounding area. And hopefully between all the little towns in our county, we'll have enough copies then that we can put this on our book club list for next year. Because there are so many things that you could discuss out of this book. So many different topics brought up. So now just a little bit about the book without giving you any spoilers. It's basically about three generations of women. Our main character is Eve. She is a college student. And then we also have her mother, who is very controlling. And then we have her grandmother, Boop. Her name is Elizabeth. They call her Betty. So I guess that's where Boop came from. Anyway, that, that's really cute. And they, um, they go on a road trip looking for... Well, Eve is trying to find her cousin, who has gone MIA, and her aunt is trying to find her. Her aunt is also very controlling, and so there's just the whole family dynamic of dysfunction, and our main character, Eve, like I mentioned in Chapter 2, she does something that I think is just the epitome of a bad choice. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I want you to read the book. Um, but I will give you a little hint. You'll have to go on a scavenger hunt to, uh, to find this. But um, Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand was doing her, I think it was, was it either September or October uh, new release video where she was just talking about the new releases. And she brought up a different book and she was reading the back and she's like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that. And so I commented about it because it's very similar to this. And and we just, you know, then she commented back like, yeah. So if you look for my conversation with Sarah in one of her videos and then watch that section of the video, you'll get a clue about what we're talking about here. So anyway, that that particular thing wasn't even addressed again in the book, but I think the reason it's there is because it's sort of established where the mindset was of our main character, Eve, where she was in her emotional and mental stability, and then we see her grow from there, and we see her grandma and where she grows from there uh, on this road trip where they go in search of uh, Eve's cousin. And the, there's a mom, Justine is Boop's daughter and Eve's mom. So we of course meet her and she's, she's all throughout the book as well. And so it's just about their journey, both physically and emotionally, spiritually, um, what's the word, relationship-wise, it's, it's a journey in all of those aspects. So without going into any detail and giving away anything about the book, I would just encourage you to, uh, to get it and read it. It is available on Amazon. It's also available at Barnes & Noble and Books A Million uh, online. I don't know if it's in their stores, but you can get it online. I just checked right before filming this video. And it's on, available on Kindle for your ebook and or for your e-reader. And so there's several different ways that you can get a hold of this book. I don't know if it's on audio. Hopefully it will be one of these days. Now, just other a quick note for my watchers, because you guys know I'm always talking about bad language and stuff. There is a little bit of graphic content and there is a little bit of foul language. So you guys know I, Christian books are what my preference, and so I like clean books. This I would not consider a clean book, but it is, um, it's definitely an emotional book. It's a journey, and it's worth reading for sure. So thank you to the author, Mary Helen Sheriff, for sending this to me, and I am looking forward, uh, Mary Helen, if you're watching this, I'm looking forward to seeing what you have coming out next. I will definitely read it and, uh, and share it with the rest of you, my viewers. So anyway, I hope that you will take a look at this book, and if you like and enjoy women's fiction, women's relationships, and road trip books, then definitely you should check this out. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you are having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.